talking about, hey guys, we've made a comeback. Yes. The moment you've been waiting. Today we're going to be reacting to creepypastas. And another video is being released. After we're finished with this video, another will be released. In a short amount of time because we've gotten pretty good at editing. And In other words, I've gotten good at editing. Um, we have no idea how to post anything to our channel, so we rely on Momsy. That's Jaxalotl. Alright. I mean, you're still our Momsy, aren't well, you? Well, yeah, but you could at least, you know, Pretend give me a shout-out or something. Pretend also, you didn't hear the shout-out to Jaxalotl Gaming. You know, Jaxalotl Games is how you'd look it up. Jaxalotl. I'm featured on their channel. No, yeah. oh, it is Jaxalotl Gaming. <laughs> I don't even know what my own channel's called. <coughs> like and subscribe, though. Yes, yeah. please. It is free. Like and sub. Beep. Why is the boop? Stop touching. Stop touching. That. Boys. Anyway, what's the first creepypasta y'all want to look up? Um. So. Let's do the Elder Ghast. Okay, so this is a super long video. We're probably not going to watch. Oh, I wonder if we can find a shorter one. It's looking like... Uh, I mean... I haven't seen Fierce Eve. I know the videos are a little long, it's just... Yeah, and we probably won't watch all of them, but just to get kind of like a an idea. Of Eldergast. Yeah. You bother me. Today is a footage of my encounter with the older guest. Older mm. guest, yep. I said elder guest. I just repeated elder guest, yep. Very laggy. Just a very old just, you made me go to full screen. No, what I mean is because this was done on PS3. This was done on a PS3. Because he can, like, Block with his sword. Prepper goes boom. Prepper no go boom. Prepper go boom. No. Prepper go dead. Prepper go dead. But yeah, this is like old Minecraft. You can only look after freebie pastas on like the oldest versions. Yeah, it's like a thing. And foot. It can happen. Yeah, we're gonna skip. Alright. This is not even the weird part. This is where strange okay. things happen. Uh, Just like this channel. This channel is also where strange things happen. Strange things happen. Naturally. <laughs> Shout out since I since I requested a Minecraft creepy poster. Which wait, not to brag, but it, this is a but since we're Minecraft players, this is near 1.17. Okay, okay. another act. Okay, another act. The overworld. Why is there another act? But things get really trippy. That is odd that there's another act here. Where does this lead? Netherrack should not have a place in the open world. I hear a chimkin too. <laughs> Nether chimkin? Chimkin. Chimkins! It's still Spoopy. ongoing. Spoopy! Very odd, very odd, very odd, very out of place, very odd. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to continue. Yeah, I would feel uncomfortable. I've heard of many creepypastas, but 
this one just made me feel uneasy on the inside. Because I'm like, when are we going to see this guest? You can, like, skip toward that. Yeah, so, so, so. Guests. What is that sound? That's a good question. Hang on, what's that? that? It looks like a tree to me. No. It's not the tree. You'd be surprised. Why do I sound like my friend Jay right now? Seriously, it is not a tree. Not a tree. That's a hoss. It's a netherrack hole. Oh, I thought you were talking about the horse. Or they were talking about the horse. No, you literally saw it behind that yeah. tall grass. I saw the hole. It's I'm trying to be funny. Nice. Excuse me? Rude. It's a hole. All right, cool. Are we going spelunking? We going spelunking? Yeah. It is very laggy. The Elder Ghast is one of the first ghasts in the world. In the Minecraft universe, it's one of the first ghasts. Let's look back just to make sure that I... this creepypasta before. I don't want to spoil what the hole actually is for. I'd prefer you not. Weird, strange, and horror. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. It's just about to happen. Should I wait? Yeah. Okay. It's about time. That horse looks sus. Well, it isn't necessarily sus. So. <laughs> trying to make a chicken is definitely sus. I you know what I mean is he yeah. just throw the chicken. He just sus. threw an egg. There could have been a baby chicken in that. The chicken is definitely sus. Decided to reboot my Minecraft to decrease the lag. And after I logged back into the world, this is what I saw. Yeah. This is all. This is way out of advertisement. Hello? Here's the guest. I like how they didn't change the voice for this creepy pasta. Like Wow. That is I watched this before. Is it black? Yes. It's kind of a No. It's it kind is, of it's, it is a gross tan. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of tannish and fleshy. Explain what it does. It's vanished. It's vanished. It does come back. Duh, all Minecraft creepy pastas come back. They always vanish and they always come back. Think They're about Hero Brown. They are spring trap. They're distant cousins with spring trap, I think. I know creepers are distant colors to how are distant cousins to how be so they that's cannot why they tell don't tell you. Really? They're, yeah, they're close cousin. They're distant cousins to jalapenos. Oh my goodness! See, look, it inverted. It literally inverted when you looked at it. Uh, that weird. That's the elder vest. It like everything inverts when you look at it. It didn't like that at all. I think it's finished. Okay, it's not helping to shoot an arrow at your door. It was an accident. And it's not helping to run around looking at the, looking at a gas that doesn't even Yeah, that would be the last time I ever played Minecraft. It's gone! Oh yeah, same. 
And the creepy music. Or did they add the creepy music? They added the... Oh, okay. So you said the creepy music's gone too, but then it occurred to me that it was ambient music. The horse seems cool. The, yeah, with the horse was just like... <laughs> the older guys... To, that would be the last time I'd ever played Minecraft. Oh, yeah. For sure. Also, I'm Same. gonna mention my friend Mapleton again because she loves horses. She even has a horse of her own. The horse. Also, shout outs to Jackpot, her horse. Thought you were gonna shout her out because of the gas. Like, why is she a big crab baby too? Like, like, what are you shouting her out for? She's not. She likes horses. Oh. She has Minecraft. I get it. I get it. What are you talking about? I get it now. She has Minecraft. Quit digging in my stuff, friend. I'm just trying to shut this door. No, don't. You're gonna break my headphones. You know we're recording, right? Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> Watch the creepy pasta. And that was it. I guess so. Yeah. Everything, then the gas was never seen again. Everything is normal. No lag. Probably no hole. No, the hole. The hole's still. still the hole's still very much there. But the gas is gone. Probably <laughs> tormenting another's. Or sweet, innocent soul. <laughs> now that was funny. Wow. Ram. Noise. All right. Now, I just thumbs up. Moving on. Okay, talk. so this was um. The this Elder was Gas. Rosen Gamers uh, thing. If you want to watch the whole video, that's where you need Cold. to go. My property cost up. Elder Gas. Yes. <laughs> The Elder Guest is yes. disgusting. It yes. looks disgusting. It yes. sounds disgusting. It Dang. is disgusting. Dang. Yes. Elder Guest. <laughs> it's a disgusting smelly baka. If you want to watch the Elder Guest, go to Rosen Gamer Z. Okay. It's Rosen Gamers. Rosen Gamers. Yeah. To watch the full the full video. Oh, and by the way, shout out and credit to Rosen Gamers. <laughs> I just had to just do this. I had to. Okay. Time to move on to anyway. the next. Yeah, what's the next creepy boss? <laughs> and it is not a. I have a feeling I don't want it to be on Minecraft creepy boss for this time. I have an idea. Okay, let's do. Why this. don't we watch? Let him do one. You Why don't we watch the endless hole? It's That's his turn to pick a creepy boss. The okay. never-ending tunnel is actually scary. Okay. We'll watch that one next. I. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to see what the original Slenderman is kind of about, like the Slenderman. Slenderman? That's not even Minecraft. We're not doing all Minecraft. Okay. Because we need to... Okay, so... Let me see if I can find... Because there's so much Slenderman that we'd have to find a decent one. Well, you could well, maybe go up and type original creeper pasta, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Original. This is similar to the last one. Security retad. Nice. After viewing a couple of tapes and finding nothing unusual, I came across the tape that. Uh, is this Chinese? Japanese or Korean? No, it's not. The audio has been removed. Either the microphone was disabled at the time or it was taken out afterwards. Wow. Bright! We might watch a couple of Did these. I see a potato? I don't know. Or was that just. Yeah, that's Slenderman. Yup. Uh. uh. This is the only thing that was out of the ordinary on this particular tape. We might watch a couple of these because there's so many. Um,
driving down the road and there's a big ass shooting. Well, we've got our dashy camera. We're on the road. <laughs> yeah, going down the screen. Or Slendy. Did we miss him? Did we? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, we may not have missed him yet. I heard your phone go off. Yeah. It sounded like I said it was in the video. Oh no, our table is I don't think I don't think we've watched it yet. I don't think we missed it yet. Watch, watch. Nope, there he is. There's our Slendy. This is amazing. Slendy, what are you doing? I'm just recalling another. What are you recording? Now. Exactly, turn it off. No. But what about the battery? It's got quite a lot of battery. Well, it, well if Disney on Ice gets deleted somehow. It won't. Oh, imagine that, 29 pounds for a dog. That's, that's extortion. Are you right to answer that then? Hello, James here. What is what? Where's the what slimy? Is what is a cheese? Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, shoot. Well, manager is that they will no longer be converting a large collection of VHS tapes to run into the store by the driver because the content on the tapes has been causing distress to some of the employees. Oh, then that might not be okay. I think I can... Uh, Hold on, watch. This leads to an argument between the driver and store manager. I hope he doesn't curse. This is a family friendly oh, channel. Oh, okay, they bleeped it. Oh, the videos are getting converted. Apparently, the videos are not work workplace friendly, and one of the gobby is is suing. Sally, have you got your belt on? Yeah, I don't know. What no, have you got it on properly? Yeah, I have. Put it on properly. I apologize for any rough language. I don't want to go into it. I just right, want to get home and get the bed. Just right. been told the driver continues on his way back home before making it there. His daughter captures something terrifying on camera. Straight to bed when we get back, Sally. Okay, Daddy. There's a sign. Oh, it's a so short. Sure. Sure. Did that show a human figure? It was just a sign. It was just a road sign. Oh. What? <gasps> Sally, cut the camera. Slendy! Good old Slendy! Slenderman, 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 Slenderman. I guess. How do they do this? Okay, don't trim that out. That is funny. Uh, well, that one was uh, quick. Very quick. You know what to kill you? Slenderman will tear you apart. And Slenderman is just walking. Well, walking on that is very unsettling. Indeed. Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna walk in front of the car. When the game crashes. How did he encounter Slenderman so quickly? Mm. 
Slenderman usually runs. And doesn't he normally have tentacles? Um, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Ooh, the animal's running. That is uncomfortable. I think this might be a real funny. I don't know. They all look real. Okay, do this. This looks like it. 1996. These, uh, these animations are unreal. If they are animations. Those don't look like, anima those don't look like animations. Science fiction can sometimes turn out to be science fact. This says 1996. St. Potatoes would have been 30. What? St. Potatoes would have been 30. Who's St. Potatoes? Oh, yeah. yeah. It would have been three. Mm -hmm. It was three when the Slenderman sighting happened. Look, look, look. There's Slendy! There's Slendy! Go back. Go back. You oh, he's gone. Idiot. No, there he is. Come on. Oh, I don't like that. Battery low. Oh, my God. Oh no, oh no, oh no, you're dead, you're dead. Dang! You're, you're, you're like dead! Dang! You're dead, you don't have a bug. Well, I'm sorry, all photosensitively epileptic people. Did his car stop? It looks like it. Oh, But it is <coughs> creepy. Never ending. Um, right here? Yes. Okay, and this is a uh, red gloom creepy. That part. takes away some good. This song is about a fire who unfortunately walked into the uh, never ending time. Oh, Steven's not even. <laughs> Steven's not even found the entrance to the never ending tunnel in a, a really old version of Minecraft. Stop looking at the cow. Can you find cows in the wild? That's weird. That's just weird. Yes, you can find them. No, not in real life. You can find like buffalo. I think you can find cows in the wild. You can only find buffalo in certain regions. I wouldn't say you would find buffalo in Texas. Like, you would find it in prairie. You would find it in plains. Not even. 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 You would find it
find them in planes, but not forests. Don't oh, shut up, don't judge me. <laughs> I like that name, it's funny. It's the opposite of even Steven, am I right? <laughs> Which is where the name Lake. came from. Lake. 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 Well, he went in. Your doom. Yeah, not going in is Your always. Your funeral. Again. Your death. Your funeral. Don't, ex <laughs> don't expect me to know about it. See, it starts off like to have a beginning. I'm always small. Like it starts out having a beginning, then all of a sudden, shush. No spoil. Excuse me. See. No beginning. It had a beginning, then all of a sudden, no beginning. Adventure mode is not for surviving. Oh no, pickaxe is no work. That's because it's adventure mode. Him only have a living blade. You can like sit down. Then yes. What does he do now? I don't know. At this point, you're kind of in it. At this point, you're trapped forever. Unless you're a hacker, you can just go to creator and try and find out. I don't know. If it's there? Just pick a direction and go. Steven's not even. You're probably checking to see if anything's behind him. I never know with a never ending tunnel. This is the only thing I'm gonna say, but. No! Shush. Excuse me. You're excused. Did you get jump scared by that? It spooked me a little, I'm not gonna lie. It spooked you? It spooked me. Oh, no water. It spooked me. Y'all know how I handled the jumpy scares. Not good. Okay, the water is coming, why don't you go? Okay, he's running for a while. Better go, Steve! Better go, Steve! Ooh, it just got desaturated! It very much did. I hear cows. For some Spoof reason. Ghost beef. I hear cows. Gas for your beef. I would take this a, beef is to take die for. This beef is to die for. He's being chased by a demonic steed. Does he have smells? I don't know. Now I see it. is evil. Fool! Nightmare fuel! Indeed. Sick? Nightmare fuel. Nightmare stiff! Nitmer Stev. Yes. Stove. I think I can see something. Nitmer Stove. Oh, I hear <laughs> It's finally saturated again. <laughs> I hear something. I smell low. <laughs> that took you a second, didn't it? <laughs> what? When I said Nitmer Stove, you will lose your inventory. Rude. Oh, no. My things. Stop. Stove, get out of there. Karate chop at the wall. <laughs> Get out of there, stove is not open. Excuse me. <laughs> Squeeze me. Oh, it's dark. Squeeze me, boy. But there are some. Hello? Oh, glowy stones. Glowy stones. There's a little bit of light with the glow stones. Glowy stones. Don't go back into the dark. Back behind him. Nothing. I don't know where he is. He doesn't either. I can see some blood.
That was not cool. <laughs> yeah. That's not cool. Jax, did that scare you too much? Boy. <laughs> boy. 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 Yeah, I'm like, not okay, boy. As in B-O-I, boy. My heart say, is in I'll my say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I think my heart kind of dropped in my stomach. That never dropped in my foot. What are you talking about, boy? I did not like it. You didn't like it, like it. What? 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 The player ran and ran and ran, and he continued to hear noises and experience ghostly, ghostly happening. Literally, I'm still shaken up. And decided to never play Minecraft again. Yeah, understandable. Dark Alex. That's what I would do if I were The walking yeah. tree. Okay, now it's my turn. Oh no. You're gonna be my favorite. I've heard of Bendra. My favorite. A terrible fate. Whenever you play, type in original. Ben Drowned is arguably the most famous Legend of Zelda creepypasta to date. It's been kicking around for a long, long time. Allegedly created by an author the name of Alex Hill, a.k.a. Jad Usable. It's a story about a Majora's Mask cartridge that's haunted by a boy named Ben. So for those of you who are familiar with it, here's the story. Made up of a bunch of posts that start on September 7th, 2010. Jad Usable one. Let me see. Jad Usable, there we go. Let's see. Is that it? He still got it. Yeah, usable. The showdown predecessor, dying world. Children. What is that? That's his uh, intro. Been drowned. Chad usable. Oh my gosh, it is like multiple playlists, and we'll have to go back to the one I was just on. Uh, sorry guys, I didn't know it was like... I have no idea. We'll go back to this one. Idea, idea, idea. Okay, hold on, stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like the Alex thing. starts by writing that this is the creepiest that he's ever encountered. Oh, now he's sorry. recently moved into his dorm as a sophomore in college, and as a present of pal of his, gave him an old N64. Now, he hadn't touched a Nintendo 64 since he was a kid, so needless to say, he was super excited. Now, his friend had only given him one game, Super Smash Bros., so the following weekend, he and a friend of his from the dorm went off campus to check out some local garage sales. He was drawn to one of them in particular, a house with a bunch of junk on a table. He got out of the car and approached the man behind that table. It was an elderly man. But something was slightly off-putting about his appearance, although Alex couldn't put his finger on it. The man asked him what he was looking for, and Alex said, old video games. To his surprise, the man said he actually had one in an old box inside of his garage. Feeling slightly weirded out by the awkward situation and the intense eye contact, Alex waited politely. But to his surprise, the man came back with an N64 cartridge, and on it, written in marker, was the word Majora. The old man smiled and said that he could have it for free. It belonged to a kid around his age that didn't live there anymore. Alex said thanks, despite something still putting him off about the man and headed back Majora. towards his car as he walked he examined the cartridge it was pretty shady but hey it was free so why not test it out and see if it'd work and as he left the old man it called out something behind free. him that sounded like goodbye then back at his dorm alex booted up the game and to his surprise it actually worked jackpot there was one save file on the cartridge titled ben that's when Alex felt bad. The old man, probably a little senile, was calling out goodbye Ben when he left, not goodbye then. He sighed, supposing that he reminded him of his grandson Ben. Alex turned his attention back to the game. He decided out of curiosity to check out the save file. Now from a glance, you could tell that Ben was pretty far in the game, having almost all of the masks and three-fourths remains of the bosses. He was on day three and by the Stone Tower Temple with barely an hour left before the moon would crash. What a shame that he'd come so close to finishing the game and never did. Alex exited that save file and started his own, calling it Link, 
out of tradition, of course. As he played the game, he noticed that everything was really smooth. No textures were out of place, there was no minor hiccups, it seemed really polished, all things considered, and a little bit better than what he remembered. But there was an odd occurrence that kept happening. Some of the NPCs in the game would refer to him as Link, while others would refer to him as Ben. After a while, Alex was slightly creeped out by this, so he went back into the menu of the game and deleted the Ben save file, hoping that this would solve the problem. It didn't. And at times, NPCs wouldn't call him anything at all. Only a blank space would appear where his name should be. Irritated, he shut off the game and went off to do some homework. Now, the next time he picked up the game, he was working his way through Snowhead Temple. Running out of time, he decided to try the fourth day glitch. It's an infamous glitch that, if timed correctly, makes your counter disappear and essentially gives you another day in the game to finish whatever it is that you were doing. As he triggered the glitch and was I exiting the astronomer's telescope, work. he was surprised to find himself teleported to the Majora boss fight room with Skull Kid hovering in the air above him. Now, right before he was about to shut off the game, thinking it was some weird glitch, a text box appeared that read, you're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. Now, this text wasn't supposed to appear there, only when you get the room key from Andrew at the Stockpot Inn. Now, he eventually managed to get out of that room and away from Skull Kid's ominous stairs. He ported to some kind of weird Twilight Zone version of Clock Town, and something was off. He felt overwhelmed by a feeling best described as a wave of depression. He was not a depressed guy, so it was kind of strange. There were no NPCs in the town either. The music that was playing was the song of healing, but played in reverse, and it got louder and louder as he went, just looping over and over. Now, every time he tried to leave Clock Town, the screen would fade to black, and then he'd find himself in a different part of Clock Town. His ocarina didn't work either. Weirder and weirder things kept happening until finally, Skull Kid appeared and attacked him. This was not in the game that he played years ago as a kid. Link's body horrifically exploded into flames and he died. The camera tilted to reveal Skull Kid and the screen faded to a message that read, You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? He was then kicked out to the title screen. His save was no longer there. Link was replaced with the words, Your turn. So... Alex selected it. It brought him back to where he had died on the clock tower rooftop with Skull Kid hovering over him. Freaked out, he just reset the N64 and booted the game back up. When he got to the title screen, there were now two saved files. Your turn and Ben. He selected Ben, and it returned him to where Ben had left off, by the Stone Tower Temple with the moon almost crashing. Alex turned the game off. Post 2 is the second longest entry after the first. The more that the entries go on in this creepy passive, the more sporadic and short they get. This one, dated September 8th, 2010, saw Alex returning to the game. But this time, when the title screen loaded up, mm -hmm. both your turn and Ben were listed. And Ben's stats were different. With hesitation, he selected that save file. He returned to the Stone Tower Temple, except things were different again. Link's body was was distorted. Weird high-pitched noises played within the game. The laughter of the happy masked salesman could be heard in the background. Link then transformed into a Dooku scrub and he came face to face with the happy masked salesman who said to him, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Then the screen whited out. The game then returned to normal, seemingly. It had looped him back to day four with the song of healing playing over top. He found himself at Great Temple Bay. He was now a Zora and when he went into the water, he started to drown which made no sense since Zora's can swim. The game kept anticipating that he was trying to escape the Day 4 Clock Town loop, but it kept resulting in his character drowning. He was prompted to press start after drowning one time. He did, and the save files there revealed Ben's fate. One read Ben, the other drowned. The next several entries are scattered. Alex continued to play and witnessed weird events. At one point, a clever bot began to chat with him on his computer, and based off the things he said, Alex gauged that the clever bot was actually the ghost of Ben. He began to fear that Ben wasn't just contained to this cartridge of Majora's Mask, but that he may be out in the world. Alex began to upload some of the strange occurrences that he witnessed in the game to YouTube, and he tried to copy files from the game onto his computer, ripping them. His next few entries contained bits of writing that read, he isn't responding to me on Cleverbot. It's just giving the generic response it usually does. And another one read, I think Ben is mad at me. Alex recounts his dreams in his entries where events and NPCs in the game have started to seep into his sleep. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? He sees the happy masked salesman's smile turn into the most horrific smile that he's ever seen. Then at one point, Alex claims that Ben won't let him access YouTube and that the air in his dorm is becoming constrictive and that he doesn't think that he's alone. His last note says to not download any of the videos that he had posted on YouTube about the incident or any of the files that he had ripped from the cartridge. The final entry makes it clear that he plans on burning the cartridge and destroying his laptop. Laptop, and that the nightmare ends here. Now, some versions of this creepy pasta end with Alex's dorm roommate moving into the dorm and finding that Alex has completely disappeared, or them returning after a week absence. They find his computer and the cartridge, with all the remains of Alex being the journal entries. No one can find Alex, and the roommate publishes the journal entries online. There's also creepy pastas that talk of Alex potentially being found at the bottom of a lake, having drowned. There's multiple variations, but all of them are pretty darn creepy. So. 
There we have it, friends. This pretty much summarizes a lot of the creepy pasta, but for the full right. pasta, you should definitely yeah. give it a Google and read it in its entirety, especially those of you who really love Majora's Mask. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and be sure to check out the playlist currently flashing on your screen for more creepy pasta videos just like this one. In the meantime, though, thanks. The videos are really cool. So, who would like to go in that? You, Me. Were you the? No, you yeah. went last. I with the endless tunnel. So, what's what's your next? I, I want to look up the first episode of a VHS series regarding Sonic Exe. I know what this is. VHS, you said. VHS, yes. Just tape. I know what this is. <sighs> it's by Shadow Joseph, which is the name of the channel that made it. Let's see. Is that Shut Up Joseph? Yes. Well, that's the channel that right there. Let's see. Sega presents. One champion only. Um, there's teaser finale. Needle Mouse got you. Do you know which one? Which one is called? I'm looking for the Needle Mouse series. There's Needle Mouse right there. Okay. So you want to watch Needle Mouse? Yeah. Okay. I've seen this one before, but it's been a while. I'm trapped. Oh my. Oh my. I've, I've been, been trapped, trapped here, here for 30, 30 years. Do you know how long that is? I do. For you? I can imagine time flew by. Time flew by. You have, you a, have a family. family. Good for you. Don't be calling me out, Sonic. I miss, I miss my family. family. I miss them I so miss much. Them. Dad. Mom. Lily. No one knows what happened to them. Except you. I hate you. Wow. Look, you took everything from me. But don't worry. Don't you worry, Luther. Because I'm, I'm coming, coming for, for you. you. And when I, I do... I'm taking you with me. Then we can be together again. Just, Just like, like before. before. I will never be alone again. Those teeth. We can suffer together. I will make you suffer. Is this Cartoon Cat? No, this is... I am. I want to find you. Sonic Evil. Don't think you can run. That is just one of the videos. One of the chapters. Sonic Schoolhouse. I see Sonic Schoolhouse. Sonic. Shut up, Joseph. He's getting a subscribe for me. That's pretty good. Yeah, shout out to Shut Up Joseph. <laughs> now, honestly, with all the channels named Shut Up Joseph, these are fans of Joseph that just want to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> They're not joking. I really want to see Sco Sonic School. Sonic School. Sonic Schoolhouse. Sonic Schoolhouse. Sonic know. Needle Mouse. Sonic. Rant. Sonic Schoolhouse. Sonic Needle Mouse. House of Needle Mouse. Pick a creepy pasta. House of Schoolhouse Needle Mouse. Pick a creepy pasta. All, All right. Because right. we because our video is getting a little long, so we need to. 
Start wrapping it up. Is this gonna be the final creepy pasta? Probably. I have an idea. Okay. Mr. Creepy Vasta. Here we go, Smile Dog. You've heard of Smile Dog, right? That terrifying picture of a husky smiling in, in a demonic way? Yeah, that one. Well, I was looking at internet demonic memes and what? scary stories a few months way. ago. I stumbled across an urban legend video which I found interesting. I watched the video and it told a few basic facts about spontaneous human combustion and sleep paralysis. <clears throat> the video also contained a couple of screamers to kill the mood a little. The end story was of Smile Dog. <clears throat> it simply presented the picture and told the viewer the legend. I researched it a bit more and found it to be terrifying but quite cool. I began talking about it to my friends in school the next day. It turned out something of a common interest. People would often use it jokingly, like in a history lesson our teacher told us. He collapsed on the floor. My friend leaned towards me and said, I guess he saw Smile Dog. And it would often make us laugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna get you We then found other stories such as Red Mist or Squidward's Suicide, Candle Cove. Then we dropped the subject of Smile Dog for a while after that. In our school, we often talked to this boy. No. And uh, his name was Michael. He was a strange child. Just... Never spoke to us. Didn't that word get you demonetized? You would Wait, often we're keep not yourself. We're not monetized. So... <laughs> he had no idea where yeah, he would be good. at lunchtime. He wouldn't be hanging out with us, but we found it not to be of our concern. He'd often leave lessons early to visit a hospital as he was a rather sickly child. Aww. He told me only a few of his like, afflictions. The, one is the most noticeable though. being epilepsy Old. and schizophrenia. Schizophrenia? Oh no! He never showed signs of these though. If he mentioned them, he would yeah, often laugh it off and dismiss them. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. And he approached me one day. That's what he looks he like without his skin. Smile, That's what I he replied, looks like without <laughs> skin. Oh, that thing? Yeah, it's obviously fake. Can I see it? I, I, I didn't save it or anything. what the smile dog looks but like without I'll just skin. Look it up, okay? Oh my gosh! I was busy with homework at the time, and when people try to talk to me, I'm rather irritable. He walked off without looking back. Dang. But I didn't see Michael the next day. He was supposed to be in a few of our lessons, but uh -huh. he wasn't there. Yeah. Nobody, not even the teachers, knew where he was. It was after our first lesson. I was called into the headmaster's office. The headmaster sat me down in front of his desk and told me, Your friend Michael has been instated to a mental institution. He apparently saw something scary. He kept having visions of it. Oh. Have you any idea what that might it be? Happened. That happened to me once, but it wasn't Smile Dog. I know. So maybe he... I immediately remembered Smile Dog. Maybe you were in Pikachu skin. I know. It was not. Uh, yes, sir. Oh my gosh. The headmaster immediately brought up his computer, and I was faced with the Google search engine. I changed the search to images and typed in Smile Dog. I showed the headmaster the full, unedited image of Smile Dog. Oh, no. Oh, my, he said, and told me that Michael would probably want to see me. He immediately arranged for transport for me to the mental institute. I entered the colossal building with the headmaster, where we were stopped by a doctor. He said, Michael only wants his friend, I'm afraid. The headmaster gave me a bewildered look, and I said, that's fine, I'll see you in a few minutes. I strolled down the large, intimidating corridor and reached room 204. The room had a padded floor, a wall, and a light. No windows except a minuscule viewing slot through the door. Oh, oh boy. I walked in. <sighs> and almost vomited. 
Michael was lying face down in the middle of the room with his hands still gripped tight on his neck. He was dead. Oh no! There was a hastily scrawled note left next to him. Oh. It was for me. Josh. I saw that smile bomb picture that you showed me. It's everywhere. No matter what we do, it can't be stopped. Oh my it God. appears in the brightest moments of your life. Oh It'll no. always be marching, never moving. It will not go away. Why did they have to put me in this room? Why do I have to be trapped in this godforsaken room? I had no escape. No matter how much I kicked off, the doctors wouldn't believe me. That word you just heard is not bad. No. What if the dog is still there during death? Not at all, so... When you're weak, kids can say it, but it's a little iffy for younger people. drag you down to hell from where it once came. This is the reality, Josh. It you basically ever means... Ever smile dog to anyone ever again. Sincerely, And that is smile. I pocketed the note. Mm -hmm. He's had a and drastic change that nobody can explain. Upon further inspection of his body, his hand was blocking a horrifying, vicious bite into his neck. Smile, dog. The teeth marks match that of a dog's. A Siberian husky. I keep going over and over that note in my head. I can't believe it. He was such a nice boy, and I regret every bad thing I ever said to him. He's a nice boy. Nice Why guy. did it have to end this way for him? There's a small part in my head saying that I'm responsible, and another portion of my head believes that this is all just fake, and I should have been more aware of Michael's afflictions. The only trouble is, I'm... Running out of options to believe here. And I, I didn't know that schizophrenia was contagious. Uh, but I, I keep seeing that damn little dog in the corner of my eye everywhere I go. What is that? Mm -hmm. It's starting to get on my nerves. It's a bad a word. I mean, it's not, it's not really a bad is word. It? Um, but it's, it's not. No. It's not the best. It's not something y'all should say, but it's not necessarily a bad I hear word. panting and scratching on my door. I... We, we apologize. Yeah. Apologize Let me go investigate. I'll be back in a second. Uh oh. Looks like he got it. He got it. The smiley dog got him. Anyway, so. The smiley hound. Yeah. That's basically. What sums up our video? So, so those are some of the. Uh, those are not obviously not nowhere scratching the surface of creepy pastas and all that are out there, but those are some that were uh, interesting to us. Yes. Yeah, we're. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a continuation of Fright Night Pumpkin, so please watch that. And sub to Jack's alone. So goodbye, guys. See you in the next video. Peace! Peace!